All right, welcome to HeroQuest fans. Sorry for the delay, everybody. I'm finally here. <laughs> I was trying to set up a stream deck earlier, and I spent too much time messing around with it and didn't get set up on time. So, but we're here now, and we're ready, I think, to start Mage of the Mirror. Glen S. Fen, part two. And we've got Bohemius and Glasgow Gargoyle with us. Welcome, guys. Turn the music down. Hello. Are you doing all right? Yeah. We're kind of snowed in here, or we're about to be where I am. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we've escaped the worst of it so far. Nice. So I have down that the elf has time stop and hypnotic blaze. So hopefully he used those at the beginning of the stream so that uh, we could start over. <laughs> Just kidding. It's like, ooh, the pretty fire. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't, but, yeah, I don't think the elves cast any spells yet in this quest. No. Well, you guys are uh, pretty close to the beginning, and this is a long one. So, as usual, shout out to Carl Casey at Whitebed Audio for the music. And I didn't have time to send you guys the updated character sheets, but we can go over those real quick. So... Glasgow, are you going to be the elf again? And Bohemius the Barbarian? Yes. All right. Uh, yes. Sounds good. All right, let's uh, get a view of our board here. Yeah, I was hoping to be able to just have hotkeys for everything, but it didn't quite translate over the way I was hoping. But I know it's possible. I should have like 15 buttons on this thing. I don't know if any of you guys have a stream deck, but I got that as a gift and it was like, all right, this is gonna be perfect and I don't know how to use it. <laughs> so I'll have to teach myself how to use it first. But um, anyway, okay. <clears throat> so when we last left our heroes, they were going through Glen S. Fen, looking for the entrance to Sinestra's Fortress, looking for the Sky Orb if such a thing exists according to legend <laughs> and we have the well jacer was controlling the dwarf he's right here he's got this halberdier here barbarian is here elf is there we've also got a couple other characters on the board no monsters even though it is zargon's turn so we've got a swordsman right here and a crossbowman both controlled by the elf you guys mind controlling the dwarf uh, until we get another hero in here, or what should we do? Jason should uh, be here like half an hour. Oh, cool. Right? Well, he typically is. No, did, he, did he say yeah, something? Typical. Yeah. No, I, I did he did hear from him. Yeah. Okay. I'm just guess. Yeah, well, I mean, we can just kind of put a little thing there until he until he returns. Just to remember remember him by. Do you guys want to? What should we do about the mercenaries? Just keep uh, elf keep controlling your mercenaries, or what about the halberdier? Should we wait for Jacer to control the halberdier? Yeah. I will wait for for Jason. Okay. Sounds fair. Okay, Elf, I'm gonna go through your stuff here, Glasgow. Uh, so you are holding the brass key. Sixty gold coins. And I've got you with fire resistance, superior restoration, healing plus four. I think we just used the key uh, to open this first colleys. Yeah, that's right. To like, yeah, because you went in here, opened the door, found the treasure chest. Good call. Okay, Wolfsbane Potion, Speed, or Celerity, Elven Speed. Magic Resistance against Damage, you've got two of those, Glasgow. Antidote, Potion of Alchemy. Uh, you're wearing the Elven Bracers, Potion of Dexterity, Magical Aptitude. Oh, you actually have two 
of the plus four healing potions. So yeah, a total of three is correct on screen there. You're at seven body points out of eight. And I have that you have equipped the, well, I guess I wrote down both. Which weapon <laughs> would you want equipped at this time? Uh, let's go for the Warhammer at the moment. All right, so you got a two-handed weapon. You haven't, yeah, you haven't used any of your spells. That's that's correct. Okay, so and then next in the turn order, Bohemius the Barbarian. You are at six body points. I have. Yes. And for your skills, you've got footwork and keen hearing. Yep. Okay. And no gold, but you do have holy water, uh, dexterity, healing 1d6, superior restoration, fire resistance, magic resistance against damage, antidote, restoration 1 plus 1, or 1 body point, 1 mind point, I should say, healing plus 2, full spain potion, heroic brew. So, four healing potions. Yeah. All right. Okay, and right now it looks like you're using the buckler and the great crossbow. Sword. Oh, you switched to the great sword. Okay. Good. All right, and Jacer will wait until he arrives. Okay. So, my turn. Let's see. What should I do? How should I kill them? I could kill them like that, or I could kill them like that. Oh, this, this is going to take all day. I'll, I'll just won't kill them yet. Okay. Oops, sorry. Hot mic. <laughs> all right, guys. Uh, Glasgow, you lead us off. That was fighting talk there. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, I had to leave early last week, so I don't know whether we've searched for treasure yet. Double check and see what you've done. Okay, we search. We search for uh, secret door and treasures everywhere, but you. Know? <laughs> uh, we search only the uh, the chest in this room. Ah, so we've already searched this room. Okay, so looks like it's time to move yeah. on. Oh yeah, because you split up the two potions of healing that you found. Yep. Okay, so I'm going to roll for... No, in fact, no, I'm not going to roll for movement because there's no monsters on the board. Yep, So. You have to. Okay, so let's, uh, let's take the elf into the green room, please. Uh, can we go... We'll take a knight's move into the green room. Through the porkless. One, two, three. Opening the door, revealing the room. All right. And inside the room, you see the door. Looks to be made of uh, sturdy wooden construction, with kind of a stony uh, border. It seems to be closed, and that's what you see. Ah, oh, okay, great. Um, okay, let's just uh, search for traps. All right. Floor looks weak. Uh, okay, uh, let's move the swordsman. Uh, we'll go to east and open the door. Alright, opening the door. Right. 
Okay, once again, the way I handle doors, he's only going to be able to see those three squares until he enters the hallway itself. And right now he sees nothing. Okay. Um, can I just double check? My swordsman and my crossbowman still have two body points. I believe so. Just double check here. Yes. They're at full strength. So is Jacer's halberdier when he returns. Okay, um, the crossbowman... The crossbowman will step outside the door, just one south. Sorry, I, apologies, the swordsman. Okay. Alright, so now he's able to see both sides of the corridor. Alright, so down to the west, he just sees the edge of the stone wall. But to the or sorry, to the west, <laughs> stone wall. To the east, he sees a giant wolf. In the shadows. Okay, let's go. Let's go to west with the swordsman. Okay, and can the crossbowman move uh, four east and then join the join the swordsman on the bones tile? Yes, he's got enough. Okay, and we'll take a shot at the giant wolf. Two skulls, excellent. Monster defends. Two damage. Okay, thanks. Bohemius the Barbarian. Eight. Mm -hmm. But I do have a crossbow, so I can go in front of the... Yep, I'll do that front of the uh, crossbowman and the shoot with my crossbow. All right. Just outside the door. Two skulls, okay. Monster defends. I'm gonna hit. That's three damage total on the wolf. Yeah, when I when I equip the uh, crossbow, I will always equip also the, uh, the buckler. Okay. <laughs> All right. Fair enough. All right, Zargon's turn again. All right, we're gonna take the giant wolf, one, two, and attack the barbarian. Let's 
six. Four skulls. Uh, remember me, please. The rule of the buckler. Like, uh, he's only uh, attacking the uh, the bun, right? Uh, the, yeah, the buckler only gives you the free attack if I miss. Okay. Otherwise, so it's does it give like... you an extra die? Well, it does. It does give you an extra die like a shield. Okay. You should have five. Or, er, yeah, because you're not using the cold iron okay. plate. Oh, I've got the uh, Elder Chainmail. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, because the helmet. Yep, got it. No, that's correct. Yeah. Okay, so four skulls, Oof. you block two of them. Two damage. So he's down to four. All right. That's Zargon's turn. Heroes. Uh, can you remind me of the potion of magical aptitude? Ah, yes. I believe that means you can use. Let's see. Drink it at the beginning of your turn, and then you can cast two spells in that turn rather than one. Now keep in mind that doesn't duplicate any spells, it just means you use two in the same turn. Yep. Uh, can I see the wolf from where I am with the elf? Hmm, good question. Um, yeah, I'm going to say so. He's a pretty big monster. Okay, I'm going to just fire my crossbow at the wolf. You bend your body at a acrobatic angle and take a shot. <laughs> One skull. Ching! Deflected. Uh, can I move the crossbowman next? Where do you want him to go? Okay, uh, one square north of the elf, please. Ah, looks like he's in a good spot. Yep, and uh, let's go ahead and do uh, another shot. You missed completely. Terrible. Once again, I don't know what I'm paying for. <laughs> it's not pay to win. Well, unless it was... It did say pay to win, but it was pay for me to win. It's like, oh, I should have read, read it more carefully. <laughs> the, the part okay, of my uh, contract was written in... It was written in moon letters, and it wasn't Duren's day, so you didn't, uh, you didn't see it. <laughs> it's like, oh, you yeah. cheat. <laughs> uh, okay, as for the swordsman, uh, let's move back into the green room and we'll go to the southeast corner. Okay, thanks. Okay. Mighty Bohemius. Bohemius, the mighty. Well, I'll just switch to the axe. Oh, the sword. Okay. Okay, so 
the buckler is coming off and the sword's yep. coming on. Two skulls. Excellent. Ching and a hit. That's four total against the wolf. So he's got one left. Zargon will take his turn. Attacking the Barbarian. Four skulls. Five defense. Okay. So took two more damage. Okay, Barbarian's down to two. Two body points. Uh, let's see. Just double check what I want to do here. All right, Wolf's going to back up. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, that's my turn. Hmm. Okay, Elf will roll for movement. Five. Okay, and we'll go... One east, one south, three east to the corner of the board. There. All right, you see some yeah. stuff. To anyone watching us uh, on Twitch live, uh, we do have a hero slot open. Actually, two hero slots. All right, so you see a number of monsters. Chaos Warrior. And a Chaos Warrior behind him. And a Femir. Um, okay, is there anything behind the wolf that I can see? Oh, yeah, I should reveal that too. Okay, far above, there is a stone wall. That's all you see? Okay, and can I just check, um, am I allowed to cast Hypnotic Blaze down a corridor? Good question. Right, let me consult the card here. Room or corridor, yep. 
Okay, we are going to cast Hypnotic Blaze down the north corridor. All right. Uh, and before we do this, okay, I know we've kind of got, gone back and forth thinking about this, but I'm going to say the way this spell works is that that Hypnotic Flame will stay in that room for three turns. So anybody that enters other than the spellcaster would be affected by it. And after all. So do you still want to cast it? No. <laughs> no, I don't. All right. Um. <clears throat> Let me read the card again here. Let's see. Spells cast. Appears. Yeah, I guess it's kind of it's. You could read it either way. It's like does the flame stay there or is it just like the flame just appears and it's gone and then the people that saw it get affected by it it's like a denial area denial or is it just a just a one time thing hmm. it makes a big difference doesn't it yeah it really does um, if it's going to affect people who newly enter the, the corridor then I really don't want to cast it well, and also, I think I, I, I wouldn't. I, I, don't, I don't think it's in the spirit of the spell for it to let for it to linger on for new entrance to the room. Because one of the reasons the elf would use the spell is to enter a room full of monsters, and then his comrades follow in and uh, and help out. It's a fair point. Uh, what were you going to say, uh, Bohemius? Oh, just depending depend, uh, how you want to use the uh, the app. Use the. Uh, System uh, described by uh, how does the app handle it? Like last book. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, I, th I think I think I have there, used it in the app before, and I think it just does it once. Yeah, I mean, I know we can't rely always rely on the app, but uh, that's interesting. Okay. Hmm. It's a uh, pure interpretation. Yeah, it's it is my. It is my decision, ultimately. I mean, it's... <laughs> when it's a corridor, yeah, it's kind of weird. Okay, how about this? I'm coming around to your way of thinking. Let's just say, yeah, it's just a one-time... It, yeah, it just flashes through the corridor. It affects everybody in the corridor except for the caster. And then it's fine the next turn. Yeah, that does that does seem to boost its uh, ability for the heroes. Yeah. As a cooperative. Yeah, it's like it's kind of like it's kind of like I'm cast I'm casting it on the the monsters and they're seeing something that's not really there. Right. Yeah, as opposed to you're you're putting an effect <laughs> that lingers on that. Yeah, triggers. Yeah, uh, unless uh, yeah. unless yeah. the hero the app the app uh, count the heroes they are in the room. Okay, so it will affect the heroes yeah. only if they are here in the moment of the cast. In the moment of the cast, yeah, I agree with that, absolutely. That's that's straight off the card, so. Okay, yeah, all right, well, uh, you guys remind me, that's my decision then, is to say it's just, boom, it happens, and then anybody that enters afterwards is fine. Awesome. Which is going to be interesting, and... <laughs> I really should just, just do this now, because otherwise it's going to be weird later. So, the giant wolf was actually standing on top of another Femir. I didn't move him back far enough. So, there should be another one there. So, all of them would be affected. Okay, so you're you're casting it. Boom, hip hypnotic blaze. So, all the monsters have to roll one red die. Equal to or less than their mind points means they're unaffected. Greater means they're paralyzed for three turns, unable to move, attack, or defend. Which is pretty great. Okay. Alright, we'll just go from south to north. We'll, we'll 5d6. Okay, so 3, 1, 1, 6, 5. Just gonna double check mine points here, excuse me. A 
Okay, so Chaos Warriors have three. So the first one is unaffected. The second one is affected. The mirrors have three mind points. So this one is affected. Six. Uh, he's a. F Wait a minute. No, no. I did it backwards. He's not affected, but this other one is. And then the. Yeah, the giant wolf is definitely affected. Right, makes sense. Yes, yeah, so uh, the only ones unaffected are the first Chaos Warrior and the first Femir. Right. Actually, isn't the first Chaos, isn't the second Chaos Warrior also unaffected? Because is, is it not less than the the mind points they've got to roll to uh, oh. to avoid the effect? Oh, it's all, yeah, it's only greater. So he's unaffected. You're right. Okay, so he these two are unaffected. He's unaffected. Affected. Okay. Yeah, so it's really just two monsters that are affected. Need to make it easier to remember. Right. Okay. So, so two are affected. It's the 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 northernmost Femir and the wolf are yep. affected. Yep. Okay. Um. <clears throat> um. If I was to drink my potion of magical aptitude, could I cast a second spell? Uh, you really should have done it before, but I'll allow it. Okay, I'm going to drink my potion of magical aptitude. And I'm going to cast Heal Body on the Barbarian. All right. Okay, so he goes up four body points. Back to six. Magical Aptitude is used up. Heal Body is used up. Excellent. All right. Mercenaries. Uh, yeah, my swordsman cannot attack diagonally. I, I think that's, I think I remember that correctly. Okay, um, and my crossbowman's not allowed to fire adjacent diagonally. Mm -hmm. um, so I think those two guys will just have to kind of stay put. I don't think they can really take part. Um, what we'll do is we'll move them a little bit closer to the door. So can we have the swordsman uh, move just north of the door and the crossbowman uh, will move one south? Okay, I'm sorry, I was distracted there. Jacer is here. Welcome. He says that the mind point roll happens when the elf is casting. Okay, and uh, sorry, Glasgow, repeat what you were going to do. Oh yeah, I'm just um, shuffling the, the mercenaries towards the door, so the swordsman immediately in front of the door, and the crossbowman one square south. Alright. Bohemius? Okay, thanks. Yeah, I should be keeping track of the turns here as well. This will be the first of three. Well, when it comes to my turn, that is. I'll put it over here. All 
Okay, Bohemius. And no two squares. Okay, right. And it's like diagonally. Alright. Against the Chaos Warrior who is not well, I guess both of them are unaffected. Okay, so three black, one white. Three skulls. It's skulls. Right. No, I should have rolled for eliteness for these guys. Uh, I'm just going to roll. Do it. Yep. So these are for the Chaos Warriors, they're normal. The mirrors. Not that it matters. Okay, so the second one is an elite. Not that it does him any good at this point. Okay, so you got three skulls. Devastating. Oh man, too bad he wasn't a hero. Okay, got him. Yes. That's my boy, the Barbarian. All right. His actions speak louder than his words. All right, anything else, Bohemius? Or I guess you moved and attacked, so. I got nothing else to do. All right. Sargon's turn. Let's see. Your turn. Mm, okay. Chaos Warrior steps forward to attack. Attack the elf. Keep switching. Three skulls, elf. So you are not using the shield. Five, yep. Okay, three, eh, respectable roll. Ch -ch -ching. And a wrestling move. Yeah, we're gonna do a drop kick on this Chaos Warrior. <laughs> okay. All right, he gets to his feet. Let's see. I'll just move this other monster forward. Okay, hero's turn. Okay, I'm going to cast Pass Through Rock on the Barbarian. Pass Through Rock. On the Barbarian. Okay. change it in the next turn okay is that it okay I, I, and otherwise i'm just going to stay put all right and then the mercenaries and uh likewise the mercenaries will just stay exactly where they are okay barbarian 
got Pastor Rock on you now. I got Pastor Rock. Let's see what I can do. In which way I can die. <laughs> With Pastor Rock. As long as you die on it. Okay. <laughs> Remember the wolf and the Thimir, I've still got two turns to miss. Two. Two squares of movement. <laughs> oh, you're actually joking. Uh, can I give, no. get, can I pa pass on my, po I'll, I'll give him my potion of celerity. I, I, I got a potion of, uh, of dexterity, it would give me an extra five movement. Okay. All right, you want to use but the um, I cannot. I cannot reach the uh, the wolf. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> I cannot reach the wolf. <laughs> I can go there between the two fumiers. Yeah, that's what that's what I had in mind actually. Okay, well, uh, let's do that. So let's use the uh, potion of uh, dexterity. So it's really a seven now. Mm -hmm. One, two. Four. You pass through the wall and end up between the monsters. And uh, attack the active uh, premier. All right. It's very honorable. Just go. Got him. Double kill. Okay, he's been a pretty tough guy this stream. <laughs> okay, yep. so now we'll change it to two. And I've got one monster I can use, and he's trapped between the two of you. Let's see. All right, he's going to attack the barbarian. Two skulls, barbarian. <laughs> Jaser says, don't die. That is not a barbarian thing to do. I like it. <laughs> don't die. Ching, no damage. All right, that's my turn. Okay. Uh... I'll step, the elf will step one square north and attack the Chaos Warrior with the Warhammer. Alright. Warhammer. Okay, well you missed, but you got a wrestling move. <laughs> uh, okay, atomic drop. <laughs> so you swing and he like dodges it and then you grab him. And slam his butt onto your knee. Oh man. And he was wearing armor, but it still hurt. Okay, uh, my two my two mercenaries will just follow behind the elf, so we'll have the swordsman come up first, and then the crossbowman behind. Aren't they supposed to be looking after me? You got this, boss. <laughs> it's like a lot of a lot of back padding and uh, thumbs upping here going on right now. What are you paying him for? Watch and learn, boys. Watch and learn. 
Yeah, this this is their on the job training. <laughs> yep. All right, Bohemius. Uh, I don't know. Make some better mercs. Hey, uh, yeah, go ahead with your turn, but yeah, Jacer, if you're going to be joining us, uh, welcome, of course. Okay. Wait to attack. The, uh, the Femir Elite. All right. Can't take his eyes off the flame. Three skulls. Got him. And move one square just the move. Okay. Jason, are you gonna are you ready to take control of the dwarf? Sure. I don't think I can get into battle because I can't get past any of the monsters, but... Oh, man. I can get in there somewhere. I might have to ask Ribby for, to send me some more of these rims. I think this one is cracked. No, it. There's a trap there. So if you want to search also for secret doors because a trap in that spot is very suspicious. There's, the, there's where the dwarf is located, and uh, the halberdier he was controlling is here as well. Okay, so Jacer rolled a four. Uh, I guess that's just enough to get in the green room and search for secret doors. Right, a secret door has been found. Right here. So your suspicions were correct. Okay, uh, I guess the halberdier can go down three and to the right two spaces. And that's it for me. All right. And if you're watching live on Twitch, there is still a hero slot open. You can join us on Discord. Otherwise, um, those in the Twitch chat are free to interact with us using gold coins, channel points. All right. So Zargon's turn. Now we change to one. The effect of the hypnotic blaze. Uh, okay, Chaos Warrior attacks the elf. One skull. Ching, no damage. All right, elf, your turn. Okay, I will attack the Chaos Warrior with the Warhammer. Alright, four dice. One skull. Ching, one black shield, no damage. Okay, I'm going to roll for movement. Okay, let's go. Uh, let's take a night move down the corridor behind the mercenaries. Okay, and the swordsman now is going to get his chance for glory. Right. Okay. 
shoot first with the crossbow. <laughs> I cannot see it right. Ah, he was eager. Three skulls. Okay. Wow, got him. <sighs> see, it all worked out. <laughs> Okay, and the crossbowman will just move uh, a knight's move to the north, two squares behind the barbarian. Thank you. All right, Bohemius. Oh. Barbarian is bad and by is, is going to try to put to sleep this uh this wolf once and for all two skulls okay got him <coughs> poor puppy <laughs> that's okay he's in a worse place now All right. Uh, I move uh, back in the green room, close to the uh, the trap. Actually, no, no. Well, cannot be an explosive trap. I don't trust you. I'm <laughs> staying in the Good. corridor, just outside of the door. <laughs> That's the perfectly right attitude to have in this game. <laughs> I mean, you trust me to uphold the law, but not to uh, not resist tricking you. I let the bomb squad do his job. <laughs> okay, dwarf. All right, I will attempt to disarm. All right. Shield, safe. All right. It was a pit trap, and you've disarmed it. Alright, anything else, Dwarf? Uh... I could... open... So I'll open the secret, secret door. Good idea. Okay, you open the secret door, reveal in the room. Inside you see a closed door. And a bunch of monsters. So we've got a Chaos Warrior. Another Chaos Warrior. Familiar scene. Two Femirs. That's what you see. Uh, all right, I'll, uh, I'll equip the tower shield, and I'll stay right there, because I already used my action all right. to disarm. Um, move the halberdier, I guess, up and to the right, so that he's next to the dwarf. And I'll stay there. All right. Zargon's turn. Got to roll for elites here. Chaos Warriors first. All right, 
second one's an elite. And then for Vermeers. Left to right. Oops. Okay. Do the right one then. Nope. Just normal. Okay. Alright. Cast where he moves forward. One, two, three. It's the elite one. To attack the dwarf. Three skulls, dwarf. Or two of them. Wow, that's a lot. And one damage. Down to four. Zargon's turn. Okay, so uh, Elf rolled a 9 for movement. Uh, can we go... Uh, can we go with the Elf... Um, 1, 2... Let, let's, let's move... Let's move four spaces, so we're kind of going two squares diagonally to the northwest. Ah, uh, yeah, I see. Okay, like that. Uh, no, sorry, uh, so from where I was, I'm kind of going two squares diagonally through the door against the left, the left wall. Oh. Yeah. Totally, totally the opposite. <laughs> Yeah. Um can I can I see the Chaos Warrior from there? Yes. Okay, let's uh, fire the longbow. Uh, can you remind me have I been have I been uh, rolling the right dice for the longbow? It's three attack dice. Four. Four, ah right. All right, so two skulls. Ching, no damage. Seems a little stronger than your average chaos warrior. Okay, uh, the crossbowman will come in to the room. Um, one, two, three, four. Yes, yeah, so just into the room, one north of the door, please. Um, I'm sure I'm pushing my luck, asking if I can see the Chaos Warrior this time. No, the 
dwarf's in the way. Okay. Um, swordsman. Um, dwarf's like, uh, maybe if I... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, swordsman, can we move him north uh, three squares? Okay, thank you. side of the dwarf and attack diagonally. Pretty calls. Oh, good hit. Alright, the cast warrior defends. Ching and a hit. You managed to damage him. What do you think, Jacer? I'm going to have the the dwarf attack with the long sword. Two skulls. Love you. No damage. All right, the uh, halberdier is also going to give it a shot. One skull. One skull. Another hit. Oh. Excellent. And then uh, the halberdier will take uh, um, he'll take one step back. Or one step down, whatever it is. Excellent. All right. Zargon's turn. We're gonna attack the dwarf. Three skulls, dwarf. Wow, again. Mm -hmm. Alright. Defended. Right. Defended? Uh, go. Uh, oh, uh. Yeah, let him showbo with like a uh, shake, rattle, and roll. remember what that one was like oh was that the uh um honky talk man yeah 
just gonna have to kind of refresh my memory here. Come on, where is it? It's got to be. There's like a video clip of like every wrestling move ever. Oh, here we go. I think this is it. Oh yeah, yeah. This this was a this was a swinging neck breaker. Did he? Was he on the on the post to do it? Did he climb up, or he just does it standing? No, he, he kind of just does some theatrics, and then it's a swinging <laughs> neck breaker. Okay, that works. So this is the dwarf doing this. Da, 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 da. <laughs> ah. All right, got him. It was one for the money, two for the show. So we need to get ready and got him. Okay. Well, with that in mind, let's see. A way to push through. All right, next chaos warrior steps forward. Ready to attack. Attacks the dwarf with two skulls. Seven, yep, it's that mighty tower shield. Okay, well, no damage, and what's your next wrestling move gonna be? Uh. You know what? The worm. <laughs> okay, now. The most that... useless move in wrestling history. <laughs> like, okay, see if I can do it properly. It's like. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> Ah. Oh, I guess he did. He did a couple. Okay, sorry, I did it wrong. Okay, so he goes, and then, and then he does the flip, flip, and then he, <laughs> Pam. Yeah, it's just it's a bunch of showboating, and then he just does like a fist drop. Okay, hilarious. Humiliation. All right, other monsters are just going to move forward as if this were the companion app, the old version. All right, heroes. Uh, okay, so I'll just step one to the north with the elf. And we'll fire the longbow at the Chaos Warrior. That's all he needed. All he needed. To his elf I see one skull. Ching! Locked. Okay, can the crossbowman move uh, just behind the elf, please? Just uh, just south of the elf. And he will also fire at the Chaos Warrior. Yes. Two skulls. Got him. The other monsters see the uh, Chaos Warrior fall in front of them, and uh, he's got like a, a sign on his on his chest that says, 
Now I have a crossbow. Ho, ho, ho. Um, the swordsman. Yeah, I think we'll just come back. Uh, let's let's go four south, one west. He was just having a smoke, or maybe he uh, called nature. <laughs> yeah, he he had he had delusions of grandeur for a moment. <laughs> ha ha! <laughs> you guys are with me, right? Looks back, nothing. All right. That's our brave Robin ran back to the group. <laughs> Bravely ran back to the group. Excellent. Next. Barbarian. Staying hydrated. Cheers, dead gamer. Two again, so why am the here? By the way, oh, never mind. Uh, stay there. I would not move. All right. Yep. I'm gonna send Ribby a quick um, message real quick here. Three skulls. Wow. Okay. Okay, so you are firing at the Famir? Yes. Crossbow, three skulls. Very impressive. Ching, two hits. Ching. Got him. And... The halberdier bravely steps forward again. <laughs> and that'll end my turn. Right here, staying in the corner, or you mean... Yep, right there in the corner. All right. Monster runs forward one, two to attack. One skull against the dwarf. <laughs> Barbarian challenges the swords into a flexing contest. Oh, thank you, Wardicon. I don't know why those sounds aren't playing. It used to be it would play a sound. It's like it just broke a couple sessions ago. Okay, so potion for anyone. Block. Wow. Yeah, I, I think he blocked it. <laughs> All right, thanks, Wardicon. So we got a bonus potion for anyone. Yeah, you, you guys will have to let me know or play a sound or something because I it doesn't play the uh, pop-ups anymore. I'll probably have to go through and like reset all the alerts, but I'm just not going to do that right now. Sorry. All right, potion of skill allows the dwarf to disarm a trap without having to roll a die. So I guess that goes to the dwarf. Potion of skill. Oh, thank you. And that way, that doesn't interfere with the upgrades that we've given him. So he has two of those now. Yeah. Along with fire resistance, two healing d6s, plus four healing, magic resistance by two, two potions of speed, 700 gold. Just making sure. Add it all there. And Yeah, and I think I have antidotes too or something. I don't have antidotes on here. Uh, maybe it's the other, maybe it's the other dwarf. Might have been the other one. So he didn't play the sound alert either. That's so strange. 
Another treasure search. Thank you, Wardicon. Okay, so the sounds aren't working either. Something wrong with uh, the Twitch system. Okay, so you guys have a bonus treasure search now. Uh, let's see, where do we leave off? I did my turn. That's all I'm going to do. Heroes. Okay, the elf will fire the longbow at the Thamir. All right. Two skulls, okay. Got him. All right, that's the end of those monsters. And uh, I'll roll for movement. If you want to. Oh, yeah, sorry. I don't need, I keep forgetting that I don't have to do that. Um, Again, if you want. Okay, um, let's... Let's go... Let's go through the secret door and we'll take one step to the east. Okay, uh, crossbowman will move uh, onto the secret door tile. Mm -hmm. uh, sor swordsman behind the dwarf, please. Okay, that's that's me. Uh, they're behind the side the uh, the room, the yellow room. Uh, one square north to the uh, this crossbow, right? Okay, and search for traps. No traps detected. Hey. All right, the the dwarf will. Going He'll move to the next door and open it up. All right, opening the door. Okay, inside the room you see another door. as well as a bookcase as well as some monsters a couple of goblins and a couple of zombies All right, and I got a roll for elites for those guys. First goblins and zombies. They're all normal. Well, as normal as you can be when you're a monster. All right, I'd like to shoot the zombie by the bookcase. Who? <laughs> and a hit. <sighs> Zombie slumps to the floor. And uh, I guess I'll bring the Albedir six 
just north of the dwarf. And that'll end my turn. Alright, monster's turn. One, one, two, one, two, three. Zombie attacks the dwarf. One skull, dwarf. <laughs> Ching. No damage. All right, heroes. Okay, uh, can the elf arm the longsword, please? And we'll move three west. Okay, and uh, I'll attack the zombie. Alright, are you taking up your shield? Uh, yes, yeah, so a uh, long sword and shield, yeah. Okay. And you missed. Swing and a miss. Mercenaries. Uh, crossbowman will just crossbowman will just stay uh, where he is. Uh, swordsman, can we move him uh, just north of the barbarian? monsters <laughs> oh but not search for hazards huh? <laughs> <laughs> like he knows. okay but uh, let me just ask you first are you going to use the bonus search or the regular search then let's do first the uh, the bonus one and then the other alright it's a gem tucked in the toe of an old boot Find 35 gold coins. Nice. So at long last, start paying his debts because he's got 35 instead of zero. That bartender is going to be very happy. Assuming he makes it out alive. Okay. Are you doing a second search? The regular? Yes. Alright, so searching for hazards or wandering monsters. Hopefully he finds one. What he's looking for. Oh, it was a hazard. What do you think? <laughs> Stone beneath your feet gives way. You fall into a shower, yeah, losing one body point in your turn. Somewhere the, the bartender clutches his chest in fear. <laughs> Doesn't know why. Yeah, he goes back to wiping the <laughs> wiping the bar. Okay, one body point of damage. Okay, down to five. Bonus monster for Zargon. Thank you, Wardicon. I do an uncommon feat to distract the zombie so the halberdier can attack first. Or move, attack and move. Uh, hold on a second. So, say that again? 
I want to do an uncommon feat to distract the uh, zombie so the halberdier can attack him. Okay, but if you fail, the zombie gets to attack the dwarf. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Failed. All right, I failed. Okay, zombie attacks the dwarf. One skull. Blocked. Okay, but actually, whose turn? It's your turn. Yeah, it's the dwarf's turn. Okay. Um. So I guess the dwarf's going to take one step back and shoot the zombie. Okay. Two skulls. Got him. Yeah, acknowledge Wardicon. Thank you. All right. Uh, I guess your turn then. Okay. This goblin's gonna run in one, two, <laughs> and uh, he looks around. Oh, he's gonna attack the helmet here. Oh, comma dice color change. Hold on, hold on. Cancel that. Cancel that. I'm gonna re-roll that. Roll color. Orange. So we're rolling orange. Okay. Well. <laughs> you missed. You missed. You, you missed. You missed a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Wardicon. Almost got a wrestling move. Almost. Yeah. You don't see any wrestling goblins. Okay. Give me super fly weight. <laughs> fly weight. Yeah. Uh, this goblin's gonna move one. Oh, no, he can't. Wherever he goes, he's gonna be hit. Okay, one, two, three. All right, hero's turn. Uh, okay, so uh, can we arm the Warhammer again, please? And I'll make some green goo. saying there's a chance okay but uh yeah it's just gonna be what it is got him okay let's roll for the elves movement Uh, okay, can I try to... I'm going to move into the room, but I'd like to try to jump over the first square in the room um, in case there's a trap there. And I'm going to take a chance and try to jump to the square, kind of like a night move to the northwest next to the bookcase. To here. Yes. So you're jumping the square. Okay, roll your one combat die to see if you jumped it successfully. A skull means you uh, jump successfully. Okay. You leap over. Whew. Landing on a safe square. Okay. Um, uh, can I move my crossbowman uh, three squares north?
and he'll take a shot at the goblin. Yep. Thank you for the upgrade, Wardicon. Yeah, I think you got him. And can the swordsman move uh, uh, just in front of the door? So, yeah, one south, two west. turn let's see I'll draw a card uh it would be the barbarian's turn after the elf oh what am i saying <laughs> you're right sorry bohemius yeah let's go with the hunch of the uh the elf and jump for a square All right. i want to i want to land uh one uh was quick to the left. Okay, so you want to land here? Here, yes. But you're going to jump that square in front of the door. Okay, roll your dice. Square means you jump. I mean, the skull means you jump successfully. Skull. Okay, you landed on a safe square. and search for traps. <laughs> okay, no traps detected. Look at the elf, uh, very disappointed. <laughs> and uh, it's the turn of the dwarf. All right, and, uh, the dwarf will go and open the next door. He sees a door. That's all you can see at the moment. All right, I will search this room for treasure. I should say, I think we have an unused uh, bonus treasure search from last week. Do you want to use that or just regular? Sorry, uh, I'll, before. I'll use the bonus one first. Okay. Gold. 25 gold coins. You want to search again? Regular? Yes, please. Okay, so you should have 725 at this moment. Hazard! It works out perfectly. Ching! Perfectly for me. Okay, so another body point of damage. Down to three. So that's all the bonus treasure searches used up. All right, and that 
ends your turn. The halberdier will go to the south of the dwarf. Yeah, except for the mercenaries. Okay. And that'll end my turn, and now you can draw your card. Thank you. Okay, done. Heroes. Okay, so the elf is going to move out of the the door where the dwarf is, and we'll stand in that corridor. All right, so you stand out in the corridor, and immediately you see a stone wall blocking this passage, and you see at the end of the hallway another door. North. That's what you see. Okay, let's search this corridor for traps. No traps detected. Uh, okay, can the swordsman move just south of the halberdier? And we'll bring the crossbowman, we'll move into the room just next to the bookcase. Okay, thanks. The door close to the to the elf. Six. All right. So you're opening the door to the center room. There's never anything interesting in there. In your quest. Never. We found. Or. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Door opens. Inside, you see many things. Starting with an alchemist bench here. And a cupboard here. As well as a number of monsters. Surprise, surprise. Throw the prospector at them. Oh, wait. Wrong quest. <laughs> okay. Let's get all the monsters here. So we've got... Oops. Muffamir. I can ask... Uh... And local artisan to craft uh, a wooden replica of the prospector. We should keep it with, uh, with us. <laughs> Autographed <laughs> by the man himself. Yeah. We are there. Okay. 
Do it in the shape of like a garden gnome, and then you can, you know, spiral them pretty good when you give them a toss. Yeah. Everyone tosses a prospector. Okay, there's another orc there too. Second, guys, we'll be right back. I'm, I'm really curious about where that corridor leads over to the east there, up and round the corner. Yeah, me too. But it was it was uh, close, so it's weird. You, you see, we got is the only uh, possible room is the yellow one. Because we, the orange one is uh, accessible from this uh, corridor, right? So, oh. I, I don't know. I know, girl. Any of this uh, monster is a uh, elite? I have chance. He's got 10 body points, so yes. Now the other monsters, yes, I got to roll for them. Okay, so orcs. Okay. Top one's an elite. Vermeers. Okay. Top one's an elite. All right. I'm going to roll to see uh, what I have left. Eleven. I think I have enough to go anywhere I want. So, I'm going to jump the first square. Okay, and where are you going to land? Uh, by the side of the yellow jacket. Or... Don't you have a crossbow? Yes. But... I mean... Nah, get in there, Barbadian, come on! Exactly. <laughs> hey, uh, just in case I'm I got a card cover. So. I got a I got a dreaded movement roll, so it doesn't. <laughs> okay. <laughs> doesn't always bode well for movement rolls. So I jump first to the yellow jacket orc, and then I move uh, one square north and uh, drink the. Uh, I was called uh, the right the, the grog. The one. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I'm, I'm, that's why I was reading the uh, the other the other uh, the the wizard <laughs> the wizard uh, character sheet. So I said, what the hell? Reaching I, into the I, wizard. The potions stash. are completely different. Uh, heroic brew plus one attack on the ogre. 
So, so your two attacks combined into one. What are you attacking him with? Yep. With a uh, big sword. Great sword. Molly the Murderous. Stabby Great. McStab. Okay, so that would be six black, two white. Wow, okay. Okay. Five skulls. Ching! Got hit by four. Fine hit. He's only got six left. Baser. Your turn. I go right, you go left. We surround them. I just want to check what I got. You need any uh, help with that? Yeah, I'm just looking on. The rallying cry is just movement, right? Uh, or is that one different? Each hero can roll one extra attack and defense dice, which I would extend to mercenaries as well. Okay. So I use it in continuous until my next turn? Yes. For the other hero? Okay. Uh, and I think this is probably going to be the room I use it on. All right. Rallying cry. Da, 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 da. <laughs> All right, so everybody gets a bonus. Yeah, I I do. I have two antidotes listed on here. Two antidotes. Hmm. Yeah, it's in between whenever I got the warthog bladder and my first potion of warmth. Oh, from way back. Yeah, only because we never had a chance to use it. And then I've disarmed everything that was poisonous, so... <laughs> I'm sure you didn't give them away, because I have an antidote for the wizard, and I have an antidote for the uh, elf. Maybe, maybe I did at some point, and just forgot about it. I got that antidote, too. Well, the barbarian has one as well. Right? Well, yeah. it's true you haven't been using them, so... Yeah, that's... Okay, fine. That's what I mean. Like, it, it is way yeah. back, but... Um, they're so old, you can't even tell if they're expired or not, but they're definitely in there. Bottles are kind of... They seem to be intact. All right, fine. He's got two antidotes. All right. And, uh, do I have one... Do I have a potion of speed still? You have two of them. Oh, I have two speed. Alright, I'm going to use a potion of speed. Okay. So you can roll twice as many dice. Alright, five. Alright. Alright, I'm going to... I'm going to stand next to the Barbarian. To the right to the south of them. Wait. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Alright. And. 
I'll attack the uh, ogre. All right, before you do that, chaos energy. He begins. Wounds begin to heal. So he gets back one of his body points. All right, so you rolled one skull. Yep. Nothing. <laughs> he takes the damage back again. All right, and the uh, halberdier. We'll go right behind the dwarf. And he'll attack that Famir diagonally. Ha. Four skulls. Wow. Cha ching, you take two heads. Yeah, not bad. Uh, <laughs> Goodbye from here. He grabs the uh, orc and throws him in the way. <laughs> the orc gets annihilated. And he's alive. Monster shield. Oh, that is, that is my turn. Okay. It's time for the monsters. Okay. The um uh... Alright, the elite Femir is gonna move. One, two, three, four. Just for visibility, that's still there. Uh to attack the dwarf. Missed. All right, this Vermeer is going to attack the dwarf. Two skulls. Still got a lot of defense. Okay, he defended everything in a wrestling move. What's it going to be? Uh, go with drawing a card on that one. Say that again? I said you can draw a card for this one. Bear hug. So you take a flying leap up in the air, <laughs> grab him. <laughs> uh, I bear hug his head. <laughs> okay, so it does one damage. Okay. All right, he's gonna move back. This Femir moves in to attack the dwarf. It's hard to hit with all those all that defense. Two skulls. Ching and a hit. Finally got through. One damage. Down to two. One, two, the elite orc to attack the halberdier. 
Are you guys remembering to apply your bonuses? You just get no, I just forgot. Okay, roll one. I was thinking. Of, yeah. I was thinking about yeah. that, and I was like, uh, he said defense too, and I was thinking about it after I've been rolling seven, just because I was used to rolling seven. I mean, thus far it hasn't mattered. Go ahead, roll one more. Didn't matter. Nope, dwarf still took the hit. Okay. All right, two skulls, Halberdier. Oh, wounded. All right, Halberdier takes a hit. Down to one body point. All right, cast champion. So this monster looks more evil than the others. It's the ogre. He can move and attack twice this turn. All right. So he's going to attack the barbarian twice. That means he hits him with 12 dice. Only four skulls, but a wrestling move also. You think it's funny? <laughs> uh -huh. Uh, wow. Yep. Only four? Only four. Only four. Don't forget to roll the extra defend die. Yep. For what? Uh, the rallying cry is still in effect. Ah, uh, I didn't hear that, sorry. Nice. Ching. One. Three hits. And the rest of the move. And the rest of the move. I guess what I should ask is, when do the Friday streams generally stop? Whenever we decide. <laughs> well, originally, I mean, I started pretty late, so uh, I was thinking, well, I'll give you guys at least till like 4.35, but if you want to play after that, it's up to you. Um, how are you guys feeling as far as this goes? Do you want to keep going or? Yeah, I, I, I can go a little yeah, bit longer. Yeah, I can go longer. Uh, at least till at least till five. Okay. Yeah, if anybody needs to drop, no, no harm, no foul. Um, it's all good the courtesy to ask yeah foobar i mean i just say two hours but it generally ends up being like three or four hours typically typically but yeah i'll always ask like uh yeah if you want to keep going or not okay um all right so i did did all that and then your response you defended some of it and i still get a wrestling move okay what's it gonna be All right, he grabs the he grabs the barbarian by the hair and he takes him over to the the ring ropes that you didn't notice were there, and he just like pushes his head down and like rubs his eye like all all over it. Ah. Referee's like telling him to, begging him to stop. Okay, finally he's like, hey hey, what's your problem? That's a that's a that's a DQ right there. That's a despicable act. <laughs> Yeah, you forgot it was no DQ. The referee couldn't do anything about it. <laughs> it's, no D it's no DQ. <laughs> you thought you meant Dairy Queen. All right. The barbarian's down to one. All right, I think that's my turn. Okay, so the rallying cry has worn off. And so has cover. I thought I asked if it would last until my turn. That oh, way the oh, that yeah. way the elf and the barbarian can get the attack effect. Until the dwarf's turn. No, I get it. You're right. My bad. Still in effect. Until the dwarf's turn. Yeah, because he's not first in the list. 
he's last. But not least. Okay, yeah, you do get the bonus. Unless you're talking height. Then he's okay with being the least. <laughs> it's closest to the ground, so he can he can see those treasures a little easier. Okay, so the elf is going to move into the room uh, east of the elite Vimir. I.e. the only square he's allowed to move to in the room. There we are. Okay, and we'll attack the Femir with the Warhammer. Okay. Two skulls, okay. Ching. No damage. Uh, the crossbowman will move. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go three west, one north, one west. And I'm hoping I can take a shot at the orc. I'm going to say no because the uh, halberdier's in the way. Well, it's an uncommon feat, and he is wounded, I'll warn you. Uh, yes, okay, let's try for an uncommon feat. Alright, skull would be success. Uh, failure means you miss, and he's going to have to defend against your shot. Alright, success. Alright, so... <laughs> get out of the way! <laughs> Hit the deck! <laughs> so the halberdier drops, and your arrow flies. Go for it. Two skulls. Alright, the elite orc tries to defend... Got him. Okay, and the swordsman will just move uh, in front of the door, so just north of the crossbowman. Ching and a hit. Another point of damage against the ogre. Okay, so he's half half defeated. I do one step back to the yes, the wall. Okay. All right. 
Chaser. Now it wears off. Hey. Alright, so Rally and Cry wore off. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna attack the Famir to my. How many body points does the ogre have? He's got five left. Five left. All right, I'm, I'm going to attempt to attack the the Famir to my left. Okay. Isn't that a, a nice solution, though? Start with the five that oh, Avalon Hill on. suggested. I got to re-roll re that. Why? Yeah, I rolled four dice. I thought I put three, but I hit four. Okay. Yeah, we start One out. Skull. We start out with the five that Avalon Hill suggested, and we let people upgrade them to ten. <laughs> okay. One skull. Okay. So you're attacking the. The mirror to the left. Okay. Got it. Regular. Familiar. The regular one, I think. Yep. Ching. No damage. All right. The halberdier is going to attack the elite one. The elite one diagonally. Right. One skull. It's a hit. It's damaged. Okay, he's got one left. Um, the halberdier is going to move, hmm, uh, two spaces towards the, the northern door. Um, and that will end my turn. Okay. Sargon's turn. Let's get some more Carl Casey going here. One, two, three. He's pretty slow. And he's going to attack the barbarian. Takes a mighty swing. Six. Two skulls. Like my everything. Range. Yes, you did. Shall I draw you yes. a card? Uh, I'm going to choke slam this guy. <laughs> Damn. It's always a very funny image. 
powerful. The image, yes, yeah. of a little guy. Just climbing <laughs> a really huge guy. Just climbing a big one, <laughs> yeah. Ah. Alright, so we took another bit of damage. Alright, the other monsters. Alright, let's get the Chaos Elite in there. One, two, three, four. Alright, the Femir, the Elite Femir, attacks the Barbarian. Two skulls. This Femir is going to attack the Dwarf. Oh, wait. Yeah. One Skull. Dwarf. A combo breaker. Okay. <laughs> All right. With that fantastic roll, what wrestling move would you like? All right. Well, after seeing the barbarian just do the uh, the choke slam, I'm gonna do the tombstone <laughs> pile driver. <laughs> All right. Am. All right. He kicked out at two, but uh, did a lot of damage. Okay. All right. Well, seeing what happened, the other Femir is going to go for the elf. Two skulls, elf. Jing, another wrestling move. <laughs> what do we got? Glad right, we're going we're gonna to do the we're going to do the Garvin stomp. Garvin stomp. Well, after these guys, we have search this room until we find the belt. Okay. <laughs> yes. We have to find the belt. Oh wow! Yep. This is the one where he stomps in like every part of their body on the ground, and then like yeah, yeah, that's right. And then puts all of the weight on their head. <laughs> oh man, dastardly. Okay, so uh, and get get him right get get him right in the eye as well. Right in the eye. Uh, 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 ha! All right, he's out. Ding, 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 ding. He's qualified, but of course you politely remind the referee it's no DQ. <laughs> the referee storms storms out of the ring in protest. <laughs> Somebody's still got to ring the bell. Okay. All right. Well, that monster is finished. All right. Well, I guess that's all I can do for now. Heroes. Isn't the dwarf actually one square to the left of there? Oh, did I move him by mistake? Yeah, I, th I think he's. Yeah, I think he's there. Okay. Oh. Yeah, he is, because the halberdier was standing there before I moved him out. All right. Everybody in the places. 
See if you guys would just be looking okay. looking at the, the gaffer tape on the floor, you'd see where you're supposed to stand. Okay, I'm rolling for elf movement. Royal Rumble. King of the Ring. Okay, can I... I only rolled seven, so can I drink my potion of dexterity? Or maybe maybe celerity. Um, no, let, let's let's go with the potion of dexterity that gives me some extra squares. Okay, rather than the speed that gives you double attacks. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll we'll leave that just now. Uh, keep that for later. So we'll just right. move push, use potion of dexterity, um, and we'll try to work our way around to the ogre. Six. You want to be right up in his face. Oh, I can get there in six. I didn't realize that. Um, I rolled seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I thought I was one square short of there with seven. So I thought I had to use my potion. All right. He quickly spits it back into the jar. Thankfully, he hadn't swallowed it yet. So can I move diagonally or something with the elf? No, I don't think there's any diagonal movement. Yeah, no, I, I, I think I do need my potion of dexterity here actually to get there. So uh, I'll, I'll use that, and I'll attack the ogre with the warhammer. All right. Okay, so dexterity is used, and we're going for the warhammer. Three skulls. Chaos Warrior has been recruited. Thank you, Fubar. <laughs> Ching, two hits. So far, we only got two left. Uh, okay, my swordsman's going to come in and stand south of the regular Femir. And let's attack. And can my crossbowman move one square to the west of the swordsman? Yes. And we'll take a shot at the elite Femir. I 
turn? Yes. Oh, yes. That... Mighty Bowen, yes. Yeah. Yogurt. Three skulls. Got him. As Yoger falls, he lets out a really loud groan. Search for Ogre Grog. <laughs> no Grog detected. <laughs> Should be no Grog. <laughs> Okay. At that at that moment, the uh, the cupboard explodes, <laughs> and out comes a chaos warrior that was hiding there, <laughs> or maybe he tunneled up through the thing, and a goblin. <laughs> what they were doing inside the cupboard? Just waiting for an opportunity. <laughs> Still a family show. <laughs> All right. Get some more fight music going. All right, Jacer. Boss. Uh, since I'm there, I'll just move one step south and I'll attack the uh, Chaos Warrior in the corner. Oh, you're going to attack him diagonally? Yep, one. Damage to the Cast Warrior. And the Halberdier is going to move to the left of the Orc, or no, the Goblin, and he'll attack the Goblin. He's going to be to the left of the goblin. He's using all six movement spaces. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Two. Can't beat that. He only rolls one. Aye! All right, and that'll make it your turn. All right. All right, Chaos Warrior charges forward to attack the Barbarian. One, two. And attacks. Try to punch the camera. Chaos Warrior attacks. One skull and a wrestling move. So, I'm going to use the potion. Uh, uh, which one? You want two body points? Uh, you're down to one body point. Well, oh, you're gonna heal. You're going to hit me with a wrestling move, so whatever I'm going to do. Uh, well, if you get and, through, and shield, depend, you depend on you. I don't know how you do the timing. If they go at the same time, oh, damage no, and no, no, no. Here, so yeah, let me explain. Hey, to use Val valid point. So when you roll your defense, you might get a wrestling move to counter his. <laughs> but oh, yeah. So if you get a really good roll, you don't have to worry. But otherwise, yeah, you're going to be using a potion. 
So go ahead, do your defensive roll. Let's see what you got. got. Yeah. The rest of the move. Blocked the damage, but then he threw salt in the eyes. Ah! That, that, that's my question. So, it, <laughs> the damage and the rest of the move, uh, they are com they are completed together. So pretty much, yeah. I there's not a, a frame where I have to use a potion and then the rest of the move uh, affect no, I mean, me. I, at the same time, you can. You can I, I don't know. <laughs> well, you can use a potion anytime. So I mean, you could use it now. Yeah, no, no. They, 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 what I mean is, if they arrive to both at the same time, I go negative one, okay, and uh, not possible stay uh, zero. But if if they have two different timing, depending on your uh, house rule. Oh, I get it. Because you, it might make a difference versus yeah. like you use one and then you lock it, makes, it again. Exactly. Two. Okay. Exactly. Well, just tell me what 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 were you hoping to do? No, I don't know. But I want to know what, what is uh, how you calculate this oh, specific okay. situation. Sure, sure. Okay. Well, let's just let's just take one. I'll just do it like this. So I hit you with a wrestling move. You're dead. You're at zero. But that means that the other skull will okay. hit you. So instead of doing that, I'll just I'll do the skull first. You blocked it. Gonna kill you with the wrestling move. Okay, so perfect. So now you can use a death save and, uh, with one of your potions. The two body point potions, yes. Okay, the two body points. Yeah, so Fubar, uh, Jacer the dwarf has yellow, so he has one. He's a halberdier, and Glasgow the elf has green, so he has two. The swordsman and the crossbowman. As far as mercenaries go. Okay, so you would have died, but you came back with two. Using the... Half filled healing. Okay, looks like that's it for Zargon. So heroes, bonus monster. Thank you. Thank you, Fubar. Uh, can we update the healing number on the Barbarian? Thank you for reminding me. <laughs> yes, yes we can. Been a while since anybody had to use one. Three, three, and three. Okay, uh, Elf will move uh, two south and attack with the Warhammer. Wow. Good one. Nice hit. <laughs> he goes flying through the through the doorway until he hits the wall. Clunk. Like a sack of tin cans. Uh, okay, my uh, my mercenaries will just uh, will just sit and look pretty just now. <laughs> Posing. Okay, but not posers. All right, thank you, Wardicon. Don't worry, I'm keeping track. But thank you. Okay, room is clear of monsters. So, mercenaries. They're looking pretty. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. They're posing for imaginary cameras. Looking great. Signing autographs to the fans. Like, oh yeah, yeah. I I worked with him, you know, for years. He's a good guy. You want to meet him? I, I could probably, you know, arrange. You could meet him. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, yeah, so so oh, we'll yeah. we'll pass over to the barbarian. Yeah, he's he's busy right now. You know, once he gets busy, you know, he doesn't want to talk to anybody. You know, you know how it is. You can hang with me though. <laughs> All right, barbarian. So all monsters are down, right? So yep. Search for treasures. Ooh, gold. Okay, you find two Wolfsbane potions. Oh, who, who did one? I got already one. Uh, Elf has one. I could use one. I think mine broke. Yeah. Okay. Okay, yes. Yeah, I keep out. Uh... Actually, I give you both. Okay, two Wolfsbane. Right, so you move so over and have one. two Wolfsbane potions. <laughs> okay. Alright, Dwarf. I'll use my six movement to get to the closed door and open it. Two, three, four, five, six. Uh, okay. <laughs> now, now some some memories are coming back. Oh, no. Is it possible that you forget to use the rule of the? Uh, of the wolf curse for the first wolf we encounter. Oh. Because I think in this, in this quest, uh, they're all werewolves. Werewolf. Well, if I did, we'll just say that that wasn't a werewolf. It was just a regular one. Okay, okay. <laughs> but, oh, man. Just because we find two of these, uh, I think... Yeah, you know... This one is there yeah, yeah, we, did, we did find a lot of wolves. It's it's my right. that was my blunder. Yeah, I didn't I didn't really think about that. Yeah, if he did damage, it should have contaminated the person. Oh, skill card for hero. Let the group choose. Let, let, let so let redo. Okay, because the only one to get get actually I didn't we didn't even get hit by that wall. You killed him pretty. Quickly. Just run away. Yeah, yeah, yeah we uh, we we just been lucky. Yeah. All right. Never well, mind. <laughs> Well, the moon is full. It's possible there's werewolves out tonight. Yeah, he's using prior prior knowledge. <laughs> Somehow he knew. No, oh, just just he, he, he come to me just right now. You understand? Because uh, ah. if we find the potions and uh, yes, we counter a wolf. So. Like, gee, you sure are getting a lot of wolf spain potion. I wonder if there's any wolves <laughs> around. But see, that's not always the case. Sometimes they fake you out by giving you stuff you don't need. But <laughs> yeah, usually there's a reason. Like in Doom, you're just like wandering around. It's like, gee, a room full of hell. I wonder if there's going to be a big monster fight after this. Nah, probably not. <laughs> yeah, I'll teleport in. Yeah. All right. We, we countered the ten. Uh... Dodge Ten body point ogre that healed up. So dodge and trip. So lets you sidestep an attack, take no damage, and then he loses a turn. So who gets this? Uh, I could use it now that I used up my disarm and capture and my rallying cry. Oh, so wait, so that means that I captured a werewolf. That's awesome. <laughs> yep. yep. It's just a little puppy. It's like gleam in his eye. Yeah, so does that mean like at some point it's like there's just a person just hanging around like, Hey, uh, <laughs> can you let me go, please? I didn't, uh... <sighs> <sighs> well, that's how he was able to give us information. <laughs> yeah. That That's what I should have done, yeah. Just role play it. And so instead of all the sniffing and barking, he just like, oh, it, it's over there, governor. I'm like, all right, that's not your real accent, is it? 
Nah, it's not. I knew he was faking. He turns back into a wolf. Okay. Alright, so what do I see in the room after I open the door? Or is there anything else in the hallway? Yeah, that's what I... Okay, so you see that there's a stone uh, wall there. Uh, other than that, you don't see anything. Are you opening the door? Did you say that? Yes, I am. Okay. Reveal in the room. Inside the room, you see a number of doors. Some monsters. Orcs as well. All right, that's what you see. I'm gonna try to. I'm gonna take a crossbow shot at the chaos warrior on the southern wall. Right. Corner pocket. Uh, missed. He missed. And the how the deer will move. Two, three, four, five spaces and be just outside that door. Sorry, I forgot to roll. No, act uh, actually, he will go out the door and one space north. Oh, no, no, the door's fine. Never mind. I'm trying to... Outside or inside? Right outside the door. That'll end my turn, and then that'll also be ended my night. Ah, gotta get going. Well, I guess it is after five. All right. Well, thank you, Jason. Yeah, my wife just came home with dinner, and we're all gonna sit down and eat. So. All right. Well, good game. Thanks for joining us. Yeah, it's a good. It's, it's a good time for me to go too, guys. Thanks. Right. Dargon's turn next time. Yep. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for playing. Yes, I'm, I'm coming to eat now. It's okay. Thank you. He survived. Take night. care. All right. Good game, guys. Have good a good enough. night. We'll do a Thank raid. You. If See you guys. Game. All the best. Thanks. So it's Argon's turn next time. All right, looks like El Funko or Texi 88 on. Cool. Texi 88 does uh, retro games. Stop the stream. Everybody have a great night.